This is a quick look at how the uh, Autodesk Labs 2D to 3D tool works. It's now been updated for 2013, for Inventor 2013. So um, very simply, you're going to take a, a drawing in AutoCAD and first just copy any geometry that you want to take in. So I've selected this geometry here. Deselect any geometry by holding Shift. So I'm going to deselect those bolt holes there just to make it simple. And uh, we've got three orthogonal views, orthographic views here. So the more views you have, the better. Um, so I'm just going to click Control C to copy this and go into Inventor now and create a new part file. So I get a sketch coming up straight away and I'm going to Control V that AutoCAD geometry, those lines and dimensions into this Inventor sketch. So if I paste those lines in there, I've got a few lines in here that I don't want, so I'm going to delete those. And then I can just simply finish the sketch. Now once I've done that, you'll notice that you get in your 3D modeling tab, the 2D to 3D um, tab. Uh, once the the, uh, the lab's 2D to 3D tool has been installed. Uh, if it's not coming up, then you can go to Tools, um, Add-ins, and just check that your 2D to 3D tool is loaded and set to automatically load when Inventor starts. Okay, so once we've got that, we can just click the base view here and select the geometry that we want to use for our base view. So first we'll select this face here uh, to define the direction of our base view and then the geometry so it will give you a, a box that's angled correctly I'm gonna have this as my base view because these two this view and this view are based off this base view here so make sure you select the correct one there and I'll click OK and then you'll see that that sketch geometry has been pasted to the side of that block there so then if I click projected view um, and just very simply draw a box around the um, geometry that I want to be my projected view and click OK and it should project this correctly onto the face there and you can see that that's worked just fine and then click projected view again and I'll paste this geometry here as well so that has pasted it in the correct orientation there however um, it's not aligned correctly. This sketch needs to be moved down. So this is a good example. If I just make those uh, that original sketch invisible. Actually, I think that we can delete that original sketch now. Um, okay, so yeah, we can delete that original sketch just to clean things up. And now if I click Align Sketch here, then I just need to select two points that I actually want to be aligned. So I know that this point here and this point need to be aligned in order to have that side sketch in the correct place. So if I click that, then we can see, okay, that's now aligned correctly. Okay, so once I've done that, it's just a very simple case of extruding this just as you would any other um, 2D sketches. So I can hit extrude um, and select the profiles that I want to extrude. For this lower um, profile I can do a uh, extrude to selected face or point so I can extrude this to the end here. Click OK. Um, if I just make that sketch invisible again then I can select this sketch and extrude this and I'll have to do a combine operation between two solids in order to get my serrated tooth at the top here. But this is nice and easy to do. I'll extrude that. Then I'll extrude this profile here. Make sure that I have a new solid there for it. Drag this through. Once I've got those two solids there, I can just simply do a combine operation. So this is combine up here between these two and use the intersect here. So apply that and then I've got my uh, correct profile here for this part. Okay, I hope you find this useful. Thanks very much.